Hi, now um, this painting was a commission for a neighbour of mine and it's going to illustrate the importance of planning and um, researching before you begin a painting. Now, obvious first problem is these are two dogs which aren't the most attractive of animals that anybody's ever seen. Lots of people may disagree with me but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so, regardless of whether I'm right or wrong on that, um, it it gives you the problem to start with that you're faced with painting something that you don't find particularly attractive. Usually if you're going to do a painting there is something about it which you like and you can use that to your advantage and you know know where to begin and things like that uh, but I didn't have that so what did I do? Well I went and saw the owner I took my own photographs of these two dogs that's the first point which is always helpful to do if you can often you can't but if you can it is best to do it and here's why I spoke to the owner and she told me that the bulldog will often sleep on the back of the other dog uh, you know and she thinks it was the cutest thing in the world so immediately there I've got a subject that I can focus in on and uh, arrange and I know that the owner is going to like it because it's uh, something which is you know, personal to these dogs and it's going to make a much better picture for her okay so straight away I can zero in on that I could try and get a photo of it and uh, I can portray them in that way and that's my uh, main problem overcome <coughs> okay so I've got a subject all of a sudden problem is animals never ever cooperate so when you want to take a photo you have to assume that it's not going to work and uh, in this case it didn't either so what I had to do was take uh, individual photos of each dog okay and I had to try and get them in such a way that I could arrange them around each other so that it looks like the bulldog could be sleeping on the back of the other one right and I, which I did and uh, but you have to bear in mind that you've got then got two different light sources and if you just arrange them together it's not going to look realistic okay because of the different light sources. Um, how did I then fix that? Well, I made the painting dark so you can't see joints and things like that and I gave it one focused light source okay coming from the back left somewhere okay and uh, it shines down across these dogs and it hides all the imperfections of where my photos might join or perhaps where uh, certain parts are lit up when they shouldn't be and things like that relating to each other and also the dark painting with two ugly dogs kind of emphasizes that you know it makes them look like sort of gargoyles almost so uh, it kind of lends that sort of almost a little bit of comedy to it I suppose and um, it really makes it personal for the owner because I've got that pose which they wanted um, I've managed to uh, arrange them in that way uh, without having to worry the dogs or anything or you know camp over <laughs> at my neighbor's house until they finally do it and uh, they were very happy with the painting so mission accomplished I hope that helped in some way and see you later thanks